Good morning. It is day 24 of Vlogmas. Merry Christmas Eve. I have had a super busy morning so far. I'm not even really presentable yet, which is why you're not going to see me on camera just yet. I've been in the kitchen most of the morning, just preparing a few things to bring over to our Christmas Eve dinner at my sister's house tonight. I am so excited. We love our Christmas Eve celebration. It's kind of our big family to do. And I'm almost done with that. I just have one kind of major thing to still prepare, but I'm waiting for my chicken to defrost a little bit more so I can slice it into cutlets and start preparing those. And then I just have a couple of things to prep for our celebrations tomorrow. My French toast casserole can be prepped tonight and popped in the fridge and I'll need to marinate my lamb a little bit later on tonight. So everything is going to plan so far. I've just come up to my bedroom to kind of assess the gift situation. I've got my box here that I finally pulled out of the basement that has some Christmas cards, um, just everything I need to wrap paper, some wrapping paper, all of our labels for gifts. And I've got the boys' gifts kind of piled up in here and covered with a blanket. I just pulled everything out of my closet this morning and I didn't want them to see anything. Glenn usually does the wrapping for everyone here. And I've just been preparing a couple of little things to go along with gifts to bring tonight. So I take care of the gifts that go out into the world and Glenn takes care of the gifts that are inside our home. I just need to wrap a couple of things for Glenn and I feel like we're all set. But in front of me, I have a little bit of a Christmas miracle. I knew that my friend Kate from Hawthorne Cottage Craft sent me a gift. She sent me a box from Ireland and we weren't sure if it was going to arrive before Christmas and she messaged me last night, which was Saturday night, saying that it had been delivered, which is really unusual because I am on top of every delivery that comes here. If there's anything in our mailbox, one of us finds it. We usually have those notices um, stuck to our front door if we need to go and pick it up at the post office. But for some reason, this delivery's notice was put inside my tiny little mailbox on my front porch, which never even really gets used. I was so surprised. I totally missed it. And so... I made Glenn go to the post office to, for me today and pick it up. He was shocked that I was making him do this on a Sunday, but they were open and I had to get it today. Otherwise, I'd be waiting until I think Tuesday. So I am just about to open this up. I am so excited to see what is in here. I feel like it is the perfect little treat for me on Christmas Eve. I just ripped everything open. I have a huge smile plastered on my face and I just sent a message to Kate because I am absolutely floored. Everything is so beautiful and so thoughtful. Everything that Kate put in my package is from Ireland, which I love. Even this card is beautiful. Merry Christmas from Belfast. I just love getting things from other places in the world. Look at this gorgeous mug. I'm going to be using this on Christmas morning. Look at those stars. So pretty. It is from Natasha Swan Ceramics, handmade in Northern Ireland. I kept her card here too. She is um, NatashaSwanCeramics.com. Really beautiful. I can't wait to use that tomorrow. This gorgeous sock set from Giddy Ant Yarns. What an amazing name. I love it. And this color is stunning. It's called Kitchmas. It's a merino smooth sock set. 
Superwash Merino Nylon. Beautiful colors. I really love this. This would be a really nice um, Boxing Day cast on. I don't really do the Christmas Eve cast on, but I feel like this would be a great cast on as soon as my Advent socks are done. And there were a few other really nice things also from Ireland. This peppermint drinking chocolate from Nearly Nogs. I love anything peppermint. This, um, I think it's chocolate. And I have no idea what this is. Gorse flower and Irish seaweed. Sounds so interesting. I can't wait to try that. And this little sachet of cinnamon, clove, and orange, which are some of my favorite scents that you can pop in a room. But I love, I was reading the back, I love this. It says, um, allow these little packets of joy to enhance the aroma of your room's knicker drawer and laundry. So I think I'm actually going to put it in my pajama drawer. Such a beautiful package from a wonderful friend. Um, I appreciate everything so very much Kate you know how I feel about you and I'm so thankful for our friendship everything was so thoughtful and I cannot wait to enjoy some of these goodies in the next couple of days hey everyone just popping in to say Merry Christmas Eve I am finally wrapping up in the kitchen and around the house and heading over to my sister's house. I've already sent the boys down there carrying some food. She just lives a few houses down. So I am just going to grab my coat, grab a knitting project to bring over there and lock up the house and start Christmas celebrations.
everyone. It is December 25th. Merry Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It is the afternoon and I am very much looking forward to throwing on a movie, putting my feet up and doing a little bit of knitting this afternoon before I make our Christmas dinner, which I'm very excited about. We had a really nice brunch, just the four of us, and it's a super quiet day, which I love. There's not much to do today other than just enjoy good food, family, relaxation, and I am so looking forward to sitting down this afternoon and doing just that. I did want to pop on and just say Merry Christmas and thank you all so much for joining me this December in all of these mundane everyday things. It has been so much fun sharing little moments from my everyday life in December and I just appreciate all of the comments and all of you being here. So thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart and I'm really excited to see what next year brings. I am planning on taking a bit of a vacation this next week. I have some creative things I want to do, some little projects to dive into, and I just want to kind of put my feet up and get ready for a brand new year. I've already started thinking of a couple of videos for YouTube. Fingers crossed I can keep that creative momentum going and share a little bit more with you in 2024. So thank you so much for joining me for Vlogmas. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and enjoy a little bit of time, maybe some quiet downtime if possible before the new year comes. And I will see you guys all again in the new year.
I am just getting myself situated on the couch to watch The Hobbit. Look at those cute little stuffies up there. I put one of them in each of our stockings. The one on the left was for Glenn. Mrs. Claus was for me. The little elf was for James, of course. And that cute little hedgehog or porcupine, I'm not sure what he is. That one was for Camden. I love them. So I'm just getting myself ready here, but there's no sound. So I'm going to have to call James down to see if he can help me figure out what's going on with these speakers. But I wanted to share, I have moved my number 10 shawl into a large everything tote bag, which I know is pretty huge for a knitting project. But I kind of love it because there are 10 skeins of yarn. I've popped in a bunny bag with the project on my needles along with the two balls of yarn that I'm currently knitting on. I haven't really knit on this for about a week, so I think I might spend some time working on this while I watch the movie. I've got my notions pouch in here, another notions pouch, little random bits and pieces in here, lip balm, all of the little yarn ball bands because I'm keeping track of what colors they are in the pattern. And then I've got all the rest of the yarn in here. And I like just having it all together. I've got some hand cream. This is one of my favorites, the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Self. I've got my pattern here still. I haven't transferred it out of that. But if I want to move around, I can just take this with me for the moment, but everything is living in one spot. So I am just going to get cozy on the couch, figure out the sound and watch The Hobbit. <laughs> 